Today we will be testing a Forex day trading strategy. If you are interested in a full list of all the indicators and strategies that we have tested along with their win rates, you can sign up for our Patreon and you will receive a full list of all the indicators and strategies that we have tested. You can find a link to our Patreon down below. We also have a Patreon-only exclusive Discord channel. You can find a link below to join us on Discord. All right, as I said today, we will be testing a day trading Forex strategy. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 130 different strategies with 45 of them being winners. The best one so far was able to achieve an 84% win rate. That is the Academy of Forex Strategy with the Z-score probability indicator. We have also tested a total of 994 indicators with 419 of them being winners. Now, keep in mind that we test most of these indicators and strategies on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. Okay, so today we are looking at a Forex day trading strategy. And so the source video says that this dynamic zones trading view indicator gives exact buy and sell signals. And so, of course, we're going to put that to the test and see what we can get out of the strategy. Let me just go ahead and turn these off there. All right. So the first indicator we will add to the screen is going to be the how to use dynamic zones. This one right here. And so you'll click that one and it pops up like this right here and you'll leave that there on the default settings you won't change any of the settings on this everything like i said just stays the same the next indicator that you will add to the screen is going to be qualified msb indicator and you'll add that to the screen and it will barely show up it's kind of hard to see but we have these arrows right here. And if I scroll back a little bit more, you can see that, and I guess kind of zoom in here, you can see that it has these lines here, these blue and red dashed lines. We're gonna go into the settings on this one. You're going to change that setting there. Let me just pull up the one that we already have. And so you're gonna change the pivot length to 14. Then you're going to go to the style and you're going to turn off the boxes and the lines and that will give you these signals right here that say MSB above them. Let's go ahead and turn on the first indicator there that we already added to the screen. Then the last indicator that you will add to the screen is going to be the Tiger's Stop indicator, this one right here. And it will look like this right here and you will leave that one on its default settings. So that's all the indicators that we will use during this strategy. So what we are looking for first and foremost uh, is going to be the signal from the MSB. The MSB gives us the signal right here. If I scroll in really tight, you can see there's actually an arrow right there. It's kind of hard to see when you're uh, zoomed out just a little bit. But that is an arrow accompanied by the MSB in red. So that's going to give us our uh, short signal right there. Then we're going to look down to the uh, dynamic zones indicator and we are going to look for the dynamic zones to be in the red position like so. Once all those line up, again, that's going to be our signal to go short. We're then going to put our stop just right at the tiger's stop indicator the tiger stop zone here at the top the green zone and we are going to target a one to two risk reward right there so let's go ahead and play this one forward and see what we get so you can see in the very next candle right there we make the spike to the downside getting us to our take profit let's go ahead and look at a long trade now all right, so for the long trade, what we are looking for is the MSB to give us a blue arrow here. That's going to be a buy signal, obviously. And then we are going to look down to the um, dynamic zones indicator, and we are going to look for it to be in the green, the uh, top side of this line right here. And you can see that we get all that, uh, all those uh, signals lined up together right there. 
We're then again going to set our stop right at the tiger stop red zone there. And we are going to target that same 1 to 1.5 risk reward. Let's go ahead and play this one forward. See what we get. All right, so you can see it takes just a little bit for us to get there, but we finally make this nice spike to the upside there, getting us to our take profit once again. All right, so that puts us at the end of the testing right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, if you are looking for a profitable trading strategy, I highly suggest you check out the best strategy that we have tested on the channel here. It was able to achieve an 84% win rate. I'll put a screenshot up of the thumbnail to that video right now. I'll link to it up in the corner and I'll also link to it at the end of this video with that same thumbnail. Like I said, it is a highly profitable trading strategy, was able to achieve an 84% win rate. It uses one of our custom indicators that we've developed here on the channel as well as a trading view indicator and all around it is a wonderful trading strategy. I highly recommend you check that out. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and go over the numbers on the strategy. So we did the 50 trade test like we normally do. Out of those 50 trades, we got 16 winning trades and 34 losing trades, putting us at a 32% win rate. And so we have the 1 to 1.5 risk reward. So let's say on the winning side, you were looking to gain $600 per trade. On the losing side, you would have been uh, risking $400 per trade. That means on the winning side, you would have gained $9,600. But on the losing side, you would have lost $13,000. 600 for a negative of $4,000 altogether with this strategy. Obviously, uh, not a great strategy. It does not give uh, exact buy and sell signals. Now, compare that to the Academy of Fork strategy that I've mentioned a few times before already in this video. We did 56 trades within the same period of time. Out of those 56 trades, we got 42 winning trades and 14 losing trades, putting us at an 84% win rate. Now, if you are looking to uh, gain the same $600 per winning trade, that means you would have gained $25,600 on the winning side. On the losing side, though, we would have lost $10,500 for a total gain of $15,100 altogether, again, during the same period of time. And so... If you're interested in the Academy of Forex Indicator, you can get a free trial when you sign up for our Patreon down below after uh, the free trial is up. It's only $15 a month and you need to maintain your Patreon status. So, so super cheap for a profitable, really good indicator. Let's go ahead and go over the weekly trade. So again, if anybody's confused about this, we are keeping track of these four Forex pairs, this one crypto coin each week on the 30 minute time frame, and we are uh, keeping track of the signals that they got during that time using the Academy of Forex strategy with the Z-score probability. And so for this last week, we had eight trades on the Forex pairs. Eight of those were winning trades for a 100% win rate, a gain of $4,800. On the crypto coin, we had one trade, one winning trade, again, a 100 win rate with a gain of $600. So for the week, total was $5,400 altogether. And add that to the last week. And so we'll keep track of this each week and keep adding these totals together. Then the two week total, your gain would have been $9,420 altogether. All in all, a solid two weeks of profit if you had taken these trades. Now, if you're interested in uh, seeing more about these trades, I do a video on these each week and I post them to the free side of our Discord. You can go there and see, watch the video that I do on those particular uh, signals. And so, all right, that's it for this strategy here. This one is going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next video from here.